This is one of my favorite Korean food combos. Kimbap. I got the chicken katsu. Boki is essential. Dipping it is the best way to eat it. My go-to broke student meal in Korea. Wie ich mit eigentlich Korean Street Food in Korea? Ich habe es euch getestet und als erstes haben wir Corn Dogs. Tatsächlich würde ich es keinen von euch empfehlen und auch nicht nochmal essen, weil der ganze Teig war einfach viel zu fett ist. Und die koreanischen Würste schmecken sehr künstlich und leicht nach Gummi. Dann waren wir an einem richtigen Street Food Stand und Leute, diese Fishcakes sind so lecker, vor allem die Suppe. Dogbuki war natürlich mein Favorite, aber ich finde hier auch andere Sachen wie Fried Chicken oder Blutwurst. In der Wurst waren irgendwie Glasnudeln drin, das Ganze hat gar nicht nach Fleisch geschmeckt. Wir haben natürlich alles bestellt, es war so lecker, geht mit eurem Bestie nach Korea. It was so cold in Korea that we decided to snack in this tent. If you know me, you know I don't like rice cakes. I always hope I'll like it one day. But I love dipping everything in the sauce. Korean corn dogs are my favorite. The lady was so sweet and added all the toppings. The sugar on the corn dog makes it taste like a churro with cheese. It sounds weird, but you'll understand when you try. Gotta have all the hot soup in the cold weather. Trying and rating street food in South Korea. Grilled lobster tail 9 tenths. Egg bread 10 tenths. Su yummy. Chicken plus 3 tenths. Good taste but weird texture. Spicy chicken sticks 7 tenths. Very spicy. Cheese corn dog 2 tenths. Hadiak Sweet Pancake 11 tenths, my favorite. Grilled Cheese Scallops 9 tenths, wow. Drug Gimbap 9 tenths. The sauce was amazing. Tiyabaki Rice Cake 5 tenths.
Here's everything I ate at Gwanjung Market in Seoul, South Korea. Let me just say that this market is filled with so many different vendors and street eats that you need to try. The first thing that I tried is sold by a lot of different vendors here and it's a crispy mung bean pancake. When you dip it in that vinegar sauce, it is literal crispy perfection. Now a lot of the stalls sell the same exact thing, so I just picked one that looked good. From this one vendor, we had a couple different things, including fish cake served in a warm broth. We also had to get a couple rolls of kimbap or Korean seaweed rice rolls. I love how they were a little bit thinner and longer. I feel like you don't really get that in the States. And so now I was so highly anticipating these spicy rice cakes because I love this dish. The rice cake texture was on point, but the sauce wasn't doing it for me. Then I tried out blood sausage for the first time and I was a little hesitant at first, but it was pretty good. And of course I passed by that iconic Netflix lady, but I did not want to wait in that line. So I headed over to get some dessert instead. I opted for the honey hot talk, which is basically a sweet cinnamon sugar filled pancake. And yes, all the fried things here are done so well. The filling was warm warm and ooey gooey goodness. Now these twisted donuts cannot be missed. I know there's usually a line, but it's so worth it. They're giving mochi donut pillow-like vibes. Such a treat.